Okay, today we're going to show you the flatbed dump bed that we built for our 2017 NPR HD. The bed is 90 inches wide and 18 feet long. We're putting that on a 150 inch wheelbase so we have about four feet hanging over the end. On each side we have put a step so you can get up on the flatbed and we also put the headache bar uh, so when you're jamming stuff up against there it doesn't run up against the cab. Now we've got this basically all done except for the decking. We're going to put 14 gauge uh, deck plate on there, weld it in place and then we'll basically be done. On the tail we put, uh, we're using a lot of 3 inch heavy wall channel here and 4 inch. I use 4 inch channel for the outer perimeter and for the main supports on the bed and 3 inch channel for the rest of it. We've got 24 inch on centers One important thing is this hinge mechanism. It comes with, when you buy this kit, it comes with the hinges. The important thing uh, is to do a lot of thinking and measuring, so you be sure and you put those in the correct location. I wanted four feet from the center of the pin to the tail of it, so when I tilted it up, it would be about a foot off of the ground. So when we load our heavy equipment, uh, load and unload, it'll be close to the ground, you won't have to bend over quite so much. So from the center of the pin to the end of the trailer, end of the uh, bed, is about four feet and when it's all the way down you'll see it's about a foot off the ground. That's why I have the tail lights moved in and hanging where they are. Like I say, the important thing is measuring out where that hinge is. Now in between the uh, main rail of the bed and the frame of the truck we've got like uh, treated lumber this one happened to be the uh, plastic stuff that lasts forever I got a deal on that so I put that in there but a hardwood something like that uh, usually three quarter to an inch uh, we like ours to be as close to the ground as possible um, we welded the uh, mud flaps and the gas fill right here off of the side so that'll be good up front here We bought the uh, PH520 uh, hydraulic system for this thing. Um, we could have bought the 16 and it would have fit in a little bit lower and we could have had the bed about three inches lower to the ground, which is really important if you're hand loading, uh, not quite so important if you're dumping. Uh, and then I enclosed the uh, hydraulic motor into a 21 inch toolbox my hydraulic lines coming out my power in and out so when I'm going down the road I can put the control right inside there close the door and go on down the road when we get there and want to lift we flip open the tailgate or the tail toolbox pull out the control and we're going to push the up button so this thing goes up and we'll take a look at it. It's going to take a minute or so for the thing to go up. Now when this thing is all the way, I got about a 36 inch headache bar here. And that's going to be about 13 feet off the ground when it's all the way up. So be careful you don't cream that into somebody's uh, building. Because we're going to use this when we deliver our car lifts and heavy equipment and we're going to slide the equipment right off the back. Now as you can see that's a pretty heavy duty arm. This is supposed to be a 20,000 pound unit but that's going to depend on the distance from your uh, two hinge points. Okay, 
There's maximum height on it. Let's take a look at this mechanism. We welded it to some 4 inch heavy wall channel and then welded the channel to the frame of the truck. We are, we're kind of lucky on this truck because it positioned right where the transmission cross member is. So that gives us a little bit of extra support on it. Um, run your hydraulic lines. Uh, we got a wire tie those back, make sure those get out of the way. Now if we'd have bought the smaller unit, it would have tucked right in here without having to come up quite so far. But uh, we never know what we're going to be doing, so we want to make sure we have the, the biggest uh, uh, support on there we can get. And here is your hinge mechanism on the back again. And we weld that thing to the frame of the truck and to the main rail on the flatbed dump bed. As you can see, I'm about a foot off the ground back here. And my taillights are, the rear bumper taillights is about three, four inches off the ground. <coughs> so I have enough uh, clearance there if I get into a low driveway. Now this right here, I got about four feet from the hinge to the tail. Overall it's 18 feet and I'm at about a 30 degree angle. I don't want to go much more of an angle uh, just to kind of prevent the stuff from sliding off to the side. Because the stuff we're going to be delivering is 16, 17 feet long, a couple feet wide and weighs 3,000 pounds. And we want it to slide off the back so we're going to put a winch on the very front up here and slowly winch it off until it hits the ground. Pull the truck forward and winch down at the same time. And you can see we use the uh, PH520 kit. That thing goes for around fourteen, fifteen hundred bucks. Where you get your uh, mechanism with your slave cylinder and your power cylinder. Fourteen hundred bucks, fifteen hundred bucks, depending on where you get it from. Uh, and you do need to grease that once in a while. Like I say, 90 inches wide, 18 feet long, 4 feet hanging past the hinge, and 14 feet in front of it. Now let her back down. We did have to cut a few notches in the cross member, so this would fit up without uh, any problems. The main thing you want to do is set your hinge where it needs to be at first. And then figure out where your cylinder is going to be, and then start constructing the bed. Most of the time, it's just going to be used as a regular flat bed, but when we have a load of trash or a load of steel or a heavy equipment that we are delivering, that's when the dump bed is going to come in. And you can see there where we had to notch it out a little bit for the framework to fit in there. And we have the power up and power down so we know it closes nice and tight. And like I say, our next thing to do is we're going to weld in some stake pockets and then put our decking on there. And we're also going to put a piece of deck work up here at the headache bar so we don't jam nothing into the new cab. Remember, that's ToolsPlusUSA.com. ToolsPlusUSA.com. Thanks for viewing.